Okay, uh, what we're going to do today is to look at um, how we can use the GPIO ports. Uh, this is the GPIO port, the VR Raspberry Pi, um, in order to control uh, a circuit. So the GPIO port uh, consists of several pins and uh, a power supply. So, um, for example, pin 1 here uh, provides a 3.3 volt uh, power um, a supply which can be used to do all sorts of things we can turn motors on um, light LEDs uh, make relays work for example um, we're going to look at uh, how we can use that so the other thing that GPIO can do is to um, record information from sensors from temperature sensors for example we'll look at that in a later project but today what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can get um, uh, a simple circuit to work controlled by the GPIO uh, pins. Now um, we're going to do this by uh, connecting up the Raspberry Pi via Windows. If you want to see that, how that works, look at project 2 um, and that will mean we don't need to plug in anything else apart from power which we'll do later and the um, Ethernet port. So the things we'll need um, for this project are uh, a Raspberry Pi, uh, a breadboard, um, these things which are pins uh, to connect a cable uh, from so essentially you just plug these in like that just to make these female pins into male pins or you may have cables that connect directly into the breadboard um, we'll need an LED and we'll need a resistor so we'll look at how we measure that resistor in a moment and the other thing you'll need is a way of connecting the GPIO ports to um, uh, the breadboard or the circuit and you can use cables all sorts of cables this is a, a ribbon cable you can plug in directly into the Raspberry Pi sockets the okay, cable we'll be using today is uh, this one. This is just something I found in a um, ATX power supply that had uh, broken. So this is one of the non-usable serviceable parts uh, which uh, we're going to use. So the first thing to do is to connect up the Raspberry Pi to the breadboard. So we can do that by um, <clears throat> plugging in the first few pins. Um, that'll be pin 1, 3, 5 and 7. Uh, the various conventions about how you measure the GPIO uh, pins, but we'll just measure them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, etc. And we'll connect that just directly up to a the breadboard. And the important thing to remember here is the power's off. Don't do this when the power's on, otherwise you can get all sorts of uh, issues, uh, including destroying the Raspberry Pi. So we've effectively just extended those pins onto this um, these rails of the uh, uh, breadboard. And what we're trying to do is to make a circuit. Um, if you look at project 4 that will tell you how to make a um, LED circuit using a, a 9 volt battery, um, uh, one of these things, um, but instead of using that 9 volt battery we're getting the power from the 3.3 volt, 3 .3 volt power supply on the Raspberry Pi. So no need for any external power, all the power comes from the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, so the, the circuit we need to make is to connect the positive supply of the GPIO uh, which is pin 1 here, um, the red red cable. Uh, we'll connect that to an LED. Uh, important to note the longer pin of the LED, the positive one, is um, connected to the positive supply. And we then need to connect a resistor back to the GPIO port that we're going to be using. Um, and you'll remember in project uh, um, four, we measured, we worked out how to measure the resistance. Now, um, just looking at the screen here, we have um, uh, this is uh, the equation for ca calculating what resistance to use. We came up with a value of 367 ohms for the resistor. That's when we're using a 9 volt battery. In this particular case, we're going to be using a 3.3 volt power supply or power that comes from the Raspberry Pi itself. So we want to work out what our resistor value should be um, and so we're trying to get this figure here okay so just to work out what it is 3.3 um, uh, minus 1.65 divided by 0 0.02 and that's a value of 82.5 ohms okay so that's the fig the the um, resistor that we need is 82.5 ohms Okay, we don't actually have an 82.5 ohm resistor, but we've got this one here. This is a um, 100 ohm resistor, so let's connect that up and hopefully complete the circuit. 
when it's powered. Okay, so we're connecting the negative terminal of the Raspberry Pi to the GPIO uh, pin 3, which is the yellow one, yellow cable. Various conventions about how you number that. GPIO, we we'll call it GPIO pin 2, but um, the software we're going to be using calls it GPIO calls it GPIO pin 3. They just number the um, uh, the pins sequentially. Okay, so um, the other thing to do, which we need to do, is to power on the Raspberry Pi. Um, let's just do that by connecting the uh, power cable. And we'll see the um, status LEDs of the Raspberry Pi turn on. Okay, and we need to wait a couple of minutes for the Raspberry Pi to boot. Um, we're going to be connecting via Windows, so as I say, look at Project 2 about how to do that. Um, and so, if we go back to the screen, we'll see we have um, Putty here, which is the, the software we're going to be using to connect up from a Windows computer to a Raspberry Pi. Um, and let's type in the IP address. 192.168.1.130 and uh, let's give it a go, it may not work Is it may not have boosted up yet uh, yep it has, so let's log in as Pi and Raspberry as the, um, as the password okay now there are a few packages we need to install and the first one, and the, the one the, the main one is apt-get uh, install Python dash rpi dot gpio and what that is is it's a package that allows us to power um, the Raspberry Pi using Python and um, using the GPIO pins. I think it's been already loaded onto this um, Raspberry Pi. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's already the latest version. And that's the the soft the program we're going to be using or the programming language we're going to be using is is Python. Um, and let's set our first program. Okay, so what we need to do is type sudo python. When you type sudo, it gives you higher privileges. So it allows you to install software, and also allows you, in this particular case, to turn off and on the GPIO pins, which uh, is important. And we've got a script here. So we're in the Python language uh, here. So the first thing we need to do is to imp uh, is to import a package. Import our pi.gpio and it's gpio that allows python to understand the commands we're going to be using um, then we need to tell it what uh, what we're trying to do so gpio set mode and then gpio.board that's telling us telling it that we're controlling a gpio board the next thing to do is to set up the particular pin that we're interested in. This is in pin 3 here, um, using the uh, the software's convention, and that's that yellow cable. I don't know if you can see it, there's a yellow cable, uh, got red, yellow, black and, and white. So we're using the yellow one, which connects up to the um, uh, yellow cable on the breadboard. Um, so we need to tell us what sort of... Um, uh, pin we're using. So we use GPIO dot uh, setup and then 3 comma GPIO out. So that's telling it, telling it which way to, to, to look effectively. Are we trying to control something? Which we are. So we're sending signals out or are we trying to get signals back in from example a temperature sensor. So we're trying to send signals out to control a circuit so uh, we need to define pin 3 as a GPIO out pin. They can only go one way. And then uh, you would have seen uh, that the um, LED lights up and then we can effectively switch that by putting the command gpio.output and then 3 true turns it uh, off and then 3 comma false turns it on. So there you go. Turning the LED off and on just by sending out those commands. So there we go, that's controlling the um, LED or any circuit from the Raspberry Pi using the GPIO pins.